it's like a love thing for him. He's like, I'm gonna hug you in the mouth. Even when he's a puppy, he would do it to other dogs. It just looks like they're gonna bite each other. But he would never bite. He will never do anything to hurt a dog. He's just like a big gentle giant. He has never shredded a toy, ever. He just wants to hold them in his mouth. I got him when he was just this little baby and he was so tiny. So I was like, I'm gonna let you sleep in the bed with me every night. You're gonna go everywhere with me. We went from a 13 pound baby to a 150 pound monster. And my parents always joke with me, what are you gonna do when you get married? And I was like, well, I'm gonna have to buy King Bed because he's gonna have to sleep in the bed every night. She's trying to get his tongue. He's so clingy. Anytime he's outside and he can see us inside, he'll press his whole face against the door and just lick the window. <laughs> he never wants to play unless we're out there. <laughs> What are you doing? Excuse me? <laughs> I feel like he really just needs a friend. What are you sniffing? <laughs> oh, Hanky. Is that a brother? Oh. When we brought Hercules home, he was like, oh, a puppy. But then um, after the first day, he started to realize like, oh, this is permanent. Like I'm not the only dog anymore. He was very pouty. Come here. Hank. <laughs> after about four days, it was kind of like, okay, I know this is permanent. I'll at least try to play with them. Now they're like two peas in a pod. Anytime Hank goes, oh, I love you so much, so I'm gonna put your head in my mouth. Hercules does the same thing with him. <laughs> and I've noticed he's been a lot calmer and trying to be a role model for Hercules. It's so much fun to like watch them grow and become best friends and teach each other things. <laughs> They've made me happier and I love them so much.